Hi everyone, um, hope you're all okay. It's a bit grotty out there tonight. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm about to start tea, so I thought I'll share it with you. Supper, whatever you want. It's half past seven at night, so it's definitely supper. Um, I'm doing a quick and easy kind of one pan dish. Delia Smith, one I've made loads and loads of times. And I thought, why haven't I actually shared this one with you? I've kind of put a few twists in it that's made it more mine. But the basic recipe is hers and it's lovely. John's not such a lover, but I love it. And it's basically, it's um, chicken breast, lime juice, coconut, coriander. You can take, you can change it. You can put uh, lemon with it if you don't like lime. You can change it around and make it your own, okay? But come on over here and let's see what we're doing. Right, we're just going to start a little splash. Not a lot, because I want the chicken to brown. Right, tiny splash. I may put some oil in a minute, just... Okay, one pan. Chicken has been left for an hour marinating. In, there's one lime zested in there, and it's a juice of one lime. Now, what I'm hoping to do is brown that off. I like a bit of colour on my chicken when I'm happy. Some people don't, don't bother, but I, I do like to see it coloured. Spread it about and let it get a bit of colour. I'll take you through the ingredients we've got. I'm not using all this. That's one can, a 400 ml can of um, coconut milk. I'm probably going to use about half of that because over here I've got my coconut cream. We like it super coconutty, so that's going to be going in as well. We're using fish sauce. I love a bit of fish sauce. We're using um, spring onions finely sliced with a nice little bit of ginger thrown in there, fresh ginger. And a few courgettes, okay, finely sliced. That's just my own add-on to give a little bit more veg in there. And then coriander, and that's it, guys. It's simple and it's so tasty. Well, I'm telling the lie because I put half a chicken stock cube in as well. Right, okay, I'm just going to flick that over. This is one very large chicken breast. They were huge today in Waitrose, so um, I thought that's enough because this is, a, we know we had pizza at lunchtime. Uh, I don't want to be eating too much just before we go to bed, so. It's a nice supper din supper meal. Right, it won't really colour, I'm not putting any more oil in. Um, it won't really colour till it's got rid of all the moisture. Then it will colour a little bit, okay? The more oil you put in, that stops it kind of colouring. This pan, I've just got um, hot water coming to heat to throw my basmati rice in. Right, okay, that's it. That chicken is coloured enough. That's exactly what I'm wanting. You don't want it because you're not cooking it. You just want to colour it, okay, guys? Right, okay. And I'm just going to put all these in. I'll add a little bit more oil now just to cook down that little bit, tiny bit. And the heat back up, I just turned the heat down. You can leave your chicken marinade for longer than an hour if you want to prep it and shove it in the fridge, it can sit there all afternoon. The longer it marinades in the lime juice, the more intense your flavour is. Right, one tablespoon. This is where I put half of my chicken stock cube in. And it's about 200 mils of this coconut juice, uh, well, coconut juice, coconut milk. <laughs> um, now I'm also going to add the coconut cream. Then it's going to take about mm, five minutes to cook your veg through. And basically it's done after that. 
the only thing I would go on to add then is the um, well I'm going to add half the coriander now but you keep half back to sort of dress your dish with fresh coriander and I know there's a lot of people don't like coriander um, I can't really suggest a replacement for this because it's kind of Thai based so that's a bit difficult Okay, I'm going to put half that coriander in then I'm going to get some you don't need any salt you put fish sauce in that should be really seasoned enough but the one thing I will be giving it will be a good shout of um, pepper and that just needs to come to um, sizzle away there and reduce a bit cook those veggies five minutes and we'll be ready for serving how quick and easy is that and there's not a lot of green ingredients there and it's such a fresh lovely dish right i'm just going to spoon taste this sauce so i know how much seasoning like i said it doesn't need salt at all it's perfect so the only seasoning i'm going to go in there with is my black pepper if i can go and find it What you're looking for is just for the um, little bits of courgette. You don't have to even have the courgette in. Delia Smith's original recipe only has the um, spring onions in. But I always felt it was missing something. And I thought, well, courgettes go with anything. So I really like it. So all you're looking for is that to reduce and thicken up a little bit. Um, she doesn't, Delia Smith doesn't put the coconut cream in, but as I say, John and I prefer it that little bit richer. Okay, guys, totally forgot. I told you it's been a long old day. Forgot the green chilli that should be in it. Normally, I would just put a fresh green chilli in, but it needs to go in at the beginning. So I'm just putting a couple of chilli flakes in because it, it's nice to have that little bit of a kick. By reducing, letting it reduce like that, guys, you're just letting that sauce really develop and come together and keep all the flavours right in there. If you serve it too wet and too when your sauce will be too thin and you won't get the lovely lime flavours coming through. So that's that's why I kind of wait to let it reduce more. Oh gosh, I love the smell of basmati. Right, you can see I've just put the fresh into the pan. It's all finished now. But that just really makes the, the dish zing. okay guys okay that's it um probably takes you all in a total of something like 30 minutes um and it's served and it's beautiful it's um it's just full it really packs a punch and it's full of flavor that's the best things i can say so give it a try if you want something it is just in a frying pan and a pan to, you can buy bagged rice if you don't want to put another pan on um and shove it in the microwave or something but it's that simple and that delicious okay thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon